I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we're taking a closer look at Detective Comics number 943. Who are the Victim Syndicate, and what's their bone to pick with Batman? Well, let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? All right, then. So as we join the comic, Batwoman has been called out to a crime scene by Detective Renee Montoya. These two characters, of course, had a very long, very compelling history in the old 52. I'm not sure how much of it remains. We discover through some security videos that Lucius Fox had come under attack by a group of supervillains calling themselves the Victim Syndicate. This really couldn't come at a worse time for Wayne Industries as well because uh, they are attempting to foot the bill right now for all the destruction that was caused during the Night of the Monster Men attacks. Kate desperately attempts to get Batman involved in everything that's going on, but the poor guy has drifted really far away What with what happened to Tim. He blames himself and this feeling is beginning to, you know, bleed into every other member of the team too. It seems the only time Batman even comes to the Belfry is to try and interrogate Jacob Kane, but the military man lets it be known that he's only going to talk to his daughter, and his daughter most definitely doesn't want to talk to him. No surprise, Stephanie Brown, Tim Drake's former girlfriend, is taking things harder than just about anyone else, and with no other friend in the world, she decides to look up Harper Rowe, the former bluebird who left the costumed crime fighting life behind to pursue her higher education. Harper, as we discover, is back in town trying to help out with the post-monster attack relief effort. It's funny, too, in the same issue, we can see John Paul Valley is lurking around, too, wearing some great nerdlinger glasses. Good cover. All our characters eventually converge on that night's big police gala ball. Bruce, as is so often the case, has ulterior motives for attending this event. Mainly, with Tim Drake gone, the new team can't run half of its super advanced technology that they have at their headquarters. Because of this, Batman wants to recruit some fresh blood for his team, and what better choice than Luke Fox, son of Lucius Fox, and the current former Batwing they've never really made clear about him. His solo series was criminally underrated, it ended rather abruptly, and then they shuffled him off to Batgirl of Burnside to be a love interest, only to drop him there. Now he's back as some sort of Steve Jobsian tech billionaire, and he's also a bit of a playboy and a tabloid hound, so basically he's a brand new character. I'm willing to give this new Luke Fox a chance, but, you know, the Luke I fell in love with in Batwing was, you know, pretty much Peter Parker with Batman problems. Luke is attempting to show off some new non-lethal weapons for the Gotham Police Force to help turn the tide on the war on crime, but as you can only imagine, this makes a perfect opportunity for the victim syndicate to attack, which they do as the comic ends. Detective Comics number 943 is a great kickoff to this newest event. I love the theme of loss and dealing with it that seems to permeate the entire issue. Tynan also does a great organic job of weaving in some fan-favorite characters who we haven't seen in a bit backed into the story. And while we didn't get much of them here in this first issue, I am excited to see what the deal is with the Victim Syndicate. I like this, a group of villains who blame Batman for bad stuff that happened to them. Well, okay, I mean, that's like 90% of Batman villains, but the fact that they really do see themselves as the victim and Batman as the bad guy and seek to undo him, that's pretty cool. Overall, I would give this one a very solid 8 out of 10. Hey, everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer? Or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.